Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we will be creating an animation of submit button. Uh, this will cover the design of submit button and uh, how it will animate and show the progress of the submit process when user clicks on it. So let's open Figma and uh, start designing it. First I will create the shape of the button. Uh, let me insert a frame with white background. You can make the size of the frame uh, which seems reasonable for a button shape. I am setting the corner radius of this frame to 80 to make it a rounded rectangular shape button. To add button label, I will insert a text within this frame. Let me insert the text within the frame and I will write the label as submit. Adjust the text within the frame and change the font size as per your requirements. Center align the text within button frame. Let me add the auto layout in this frame to edit it easily. Uh, in the auto layout section of properties, click this add button to add the auto layout to this frame. Make the content as center align by clicking the align options in this image. Let's add a reasonable padding on top, bottom, left and right side of this rectangle to make it a button. You can either set the spacing in the auto layout properties or you can just set the width and height by dragging the frame or resize it or updating the values in properties. Let me make the width of this button to let's say 445 pixel and height to 140 pixel. So this is our submit button. Let me change the color to green. Usually we have submit button in green color but yeah you can change the color as per your design theme and I am changing the color of the text to white this is the default state of our submit button now we will add multiple variations of this submit button and uh, show the stages of the progress of the submit process. For this purpose, I will change this frame to a component. To make it a component, you can either click on this icon on the top toolbar create component or simply you can right click the frame and select create component option in the context menu. I am clicking this top icon and you can see that this frame is changed to a component. Now we need to add its variants to define multiple progress variants of the button. While selecting this component, I am going to properties and will click an add button in the properties section of this component. Clicking this add icon displays a number of options in the menu. Since we need to add a variant, so I am clicking the variant option here. This is converted to the default variant. This is the default variant of our button, default variant of this component. You can see that a small plus icon appears along with this variant. This allows us to add more variants of this component. I am clicking this add icon. A new variant is added for this component. Now we will define the stages of the progress. We will change this variant to a progress bar and uh, it will display when the user clicks on the submit button. Let's add a rectangle to this variant. This rectangle will be actually showing the progress bar. Select rectangle tool from shapes menu. Draw a rectangle in the variant. Let me change the size of the rectangle to make it equal to the size of the original button. Thank you. 
I am changing the width to 445 pixel which is the width of the original button and let's make the height to 22 pixel to make it a progress bar. Now let's resize the original button to hide it behind this progress bar so that only the progress bar area will be visible. So this is the first stage of the progress bar where the user has just clicked the submit button and uh, it is shown as empty with no progress. Now we will make the second stage of the progress bar to show some progress of the submit action within this bar. So I am adding a second variant of the component by clicking on this add button. So this is the second variant added and we will edit it to show the progress of the submit process. To make it simple, uh, let's add more vertical spacing uh, to this parent frame. I am selecting the frame and adding the auto layout. Change this vertical gap to some large value. Let's say make it 60. Uh, th please note that this gap is just to make the editing easy here in editor otherwise it it will not have an impact on the outcome let's edit this variant to display some progress select this frame first i will remove the left and right padding because i will be using the background green color to show the progress for that purpose I will resize this white bar so that this green background can be used to display the progress. Let's make this horizontal padding which is actually left and right padding equal to zero. Also before resizing the white bar, let's change the frame alignment to right so that when we resize the white bar, it will be right aligned within frame and the green area starts displaying on this left side. Now select this white bar or this rectangle within frame and resize it. Resize it to show almost 30% of the green bar. Uh, this shows the process has started and the submit action is in progress. This is the second stage of the progress. Similarly, we will design two more stages of the progress and when we will animate these bars and these components and variants, it will give an effect that progress is moving forward. Let me click on this add button to add the next variant. Now it is simple to resize the white bar to extend the progress in green color. Resize to show that progress is moved to around uh, 70% now. Now you can add a next variant. I Let me add the next variant and uh, we will show here that the 100% progress is completed. We will resize the white bar to expose the full green area of the bar showing that progress is completed. All these four variations show the progress of the submit process. Now we will design the final stage of the submit process. For that, I will make another variation using the original button. You may note here that I am using this original button to add a new variant because we need to make some changes in this original button. Let me select this and uh, click on this add button. I will move this new variant to the bottom of the frame just to show the stages of the progress in order from top to bottom by simply dragging it to the bottom. This will make it easier to insert interactions between these variants as the process is moving from top to bottom. Now let me make changes to this variant to define the final stage of the process. I am going to hide this text as we will be showing a done icon to indicate the 
completion of the process. I will change this frame color to white and uh, add this icon, done icon inside the frame. Right. So this is our final stage of the submit process. We are done with designing all the variants of the submit button. And uh, next we need to add interactions between all these variants. When, when we will run the prototype, run these interactions, we can see the progress. We can see the submit button animation. Now I will add interactions between all these variants and uh, then we will run the prototype. Let's select the default variant first and uh, click on this prototype tab. Connect this default variant to variant 2. The interaction details open up. Right now this is set to the trigger of on click. The event on click is selected over here. It will remain as is because we need to run this interaction when user clicks on the submit button. Change to variant 2 means clicking the submit button will display the variant 2 which is right. For transition we will select smart animate means the transition from default variant to variant 2 will be done using animation. Select the type transition type to erase in and out and let's set this timer to 300 millisecond. Leave it as is. Close this interaction pop up. Similarly, we need to define interactions between all remaining variants. Select variant 2 and add interaction towards variant 3 and set the interaction details. Now here you need to change this event type. This interaction will not happen on clicking the progress bar. However, we will add this by selecting the after delay event. Since we want the progress to move automatically without any user interaction. So we will set a time here. By default, the delay is set to 800 millisecond. Let's change this to 100 millisecond because we need to show the progress quickly. Now you can see here, we are setting change to property 1 to variant 3 means after delay the variant 3 will be appearing. For type of transition, let's select smart animate. Uh, set the type as erase in and out back. To make the progress bar fit smoothly, uh, we are changing this type. Let's keep this time to 300 millisecond since uh, this is the time to make this transition happen. So the bar will be filled to the next level in 300 millisecond. Now we will add similar transitions from variant 3 to 4 and 4 to 5. Let me add the link from variant 3 to 4 and set the interaction details. Again select after delay as event. Change the time to 100 millisecond to ensure a quick and smooth transition. I am selecting the smart animate and keep the selection to erase in and out. Set the timings through. 300 milliseconds. Similarly, add an interaction from variant 4 to 5. I am setting the same properties here. Set after delay, set time to 100 millisecond, smart animate, erase in and out back, and uh, time to 300 millisecond. Now we need to add the final interaction from variant 5 to variant 6, which is the final state of the submit process. So let me link the variant 5 to 6. Now let's set the interaction details which will be slightly different than the previous one. Select after delay, time 100 millisecond. And for smart animate, select erase in. Keep the time to 300 millisecond. Now we have designed the submit button and all of its interactions and animation details. The next step is to use this component within your design. In your design, create a frame. Go to local components in your Figma file. 
and you can see the designed component is available in the list of local components you need to just drag the component to your desired frame just set its position to ensure a smooth animation uh, we need to change the constraint settings for this component to center and uh, center for both horizontal and vertical direction this will keep the shape as center aligned when the progress bar animates now select the frame and click to play to see the animate you can also use the inline preview to see the preview of the animation while remaining within the design and uh, i'm just clicking this prototype Now you can see here that submit button animates smoothly showing the progress of the submit process. I hope you are now able to design the submit button animation in Figma. Keep on watching and don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel. See you soon for another tutorial video.